This is Survival Preparedness for the Beginners. My name is Charles, and today we're going to be covering a quick little uh, thing that has happened to me, and um, I just want to go over something. But before we get started, if you would please click that like button, hit that share button, hit subscribe, and click the little bell there so you get notified every time I do a video. Uh, this past week, uh, I took a slip and fall here at the house. I uh, did some damage to the muscles in my legs and unfortunately I'm going to be out of work for a week. And thank God it's only for a week. I didn't tear any tendons or anything like that. I don't have to have surgery, which is a very good thing. But it made me think about something. I do all this talking about in some of my videos and I'm going to put up a, a, a little, um, put some of my videos up here so you can see what I'm talking about and go back and watch some of those. Um, but you know, you talk about, you know, all your prepping and everything and you're food preparations with water and so on and so forth and it's always you know for natural disasters uh, end of the world type situations uh, whatever you know economy of collapse and, and that type of thing which is all fine and dandy but <clears throat> if you really sit back and think about it having food put up for storage and your prepping supplies is really a nice comfort zone in case something does happen to you that is not classified as a natural disaster or end of the world or a collapse of the economy or whatever else. That would be considered an accident. So say you had a car accident or like with me, you had a slip and fall, you're out of work for a week. And like I said, thank God it's only for a week. But say you were in a, a bad car accident and you're in the hospital for three to six months recuperating. You know, you have to learn how to walk again, or whatever, you know. But if you have a nice, um, adequate amount of food put up in your emergency supplies, um, that's a nice little buffer for the rest of your family that's left at home um, dealing with the situation, especially if you're the, the main breadwinner for the family being that you are a man or a woman, um, you know, I mean, this way here, it takes a little bit of stress off of the other person in the family as far as trying to deal with making sure that everybody is fed. Because what are the things that we need? You need a roof over your head and you need food on the table. You know, it's the two main necessities. Um, that you have to have to survive. You have to be able to have shelter and food and water. Those are your three main necessities to survive. Fire is another one, but in this situation here, we're, we're still at home and everything's still fine and in a working order. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's just, it, it, it's just something that came to me this week. You know, I was just sitting, I had, uh, you know, I had ice on my leg and you know, it just came to me, you know, and I, in some of my previous videos, I've shown everybody how to, you know, you take, uh, you know, Marlar bags and you can put away all different types of uh, dry goods and everything. And I showed you how to use, you know, the iron instead of having to buy a piece of equipment to seal it up for you. Um, you know, you can use it, this kind of iron. I'm sure a lot of you ladies out there, you would also probably have like a current, um, a, uh, a straightener, it is called, not a curling iron, a straightener. Those work really well. Um, <clears throat> I would suggest a two by four. I didn't have a two by four, but I had some wood laying around and I made my, uh, my little piece up there and it works just fine for me. Um, but you know, I mean, you, you just have to sit back and think about this, you know, if you have kids, especially if you have kids, you know, you want to make sure that you, you always have food in the house and you want to make sure you have your emergency supply food in the house, but then it's also used as a backup supply in a non-emergency type situation, basically meaning that you had a car accident, you had a heart attack, whatever the case may be that you're out of work, not bringing money into the home. Um, I've started um, stocking up on Mountain House. Uh, you can watch a lot of YouTube videos on Mountain House and a lot of people rate them right up there as number one. Um, I like these, you can get these at Walmart. 
Um, Amazon sells them also. Uh, Walmart, you can buy them in a single pack. Some on Amazon, you can get them. You know, you can get them single. They come in, you know, a three or four day supply. You can get them in buckets, and you know, it's whatever you choose to do. Um, if you have kids, you know, I mean, like I've talked about in some of my videos, and I'll put some links up. You know, Chef Boyardee goes a long way. Um, I would also have uh, macaroni and cheese on hand. You know, especially if something's majorly happened. There's no more comfort food than macaroni and cheese. It just, it's just the way it is. You know, <clears throat> but you can take like I have shells in my mylar bags here. You know, you cook up those shells. You can open it up, cook that up. You know, you can make a, a sauce or something, um, or just you know, chicken, canned chicken. You know, you could open that up and serve it. And, you know, they're getting a hot quality meal. Um, you can get roast beef in cans. You can get pulled pork in cans. You know, I have. <clears throat> right here I have um, pancake mix you can do up some pancakes and you could do up some corned beef hash or you know slice up some ham you know and have ham with some pancakes corned beef and hash with some pancakes uh, in the front over here you know is oats you can whip up some oats you know make it make it either oatmeal or you could you know turn around and make oatmeal muffins you know um, Everybody likes oatmeal muffins, you know, I mean, it's just one of those standards. Um, but I just, you know, I, I, as I was sitting there and I was icing my leg this week, I, I just thought about this, that, you know, there's more to this than just prepping for a natural disaster. You know, you have, you have a, a nice backup and if something happens and you have a family and if you have kids and stuff, this is something that you really need to think about. You know, I mean, we all have family members, you know that would probably step up and help out. But in the meantime, before all that takes place, it would be nice to know that you do have a little bit of a buffer wherein you do not have to rely on that at that point in time. Maybe down the road, you know, uh, if it turns into a longer scenario that was not being planned on, because not everything works out to the way it should be. Uh, sometimes things don't heal like the, the way they should. Um, like I was supposed to be back to work by uh, tomorrow, but that's not going to happen. I had to go back to the doctor and it got extended till Monday. So it just goes to show you certain things, you know, just because, you know, a doctor or somebody says that, quote, it may happen this way, it don't always work out that way. <clears throat> But I just wanted to, I just wanted to do a quick video and just you know just get people to think about that you know there there's more to this than you know me sitting here or anybody else out here in YouTube land sitting here and telling you you know you need to have all this food and everything else for the end of the world or some economical collapse and natural disasters you know I plan for natural disasters but then again. Uh, it's kind of a good feeling to know that if something happened and I couldn't work for quite a while and didn't have any money I know I have enough food to get me through for at least two or three months You know it may not be gourmet food, but You know what in a pinch you got to do what you got to do You eat what you put in front of you or you go hungry, you know, it's kind of go back when I was growing up and I'm sure some of you uh, people out there that are probably around my age that's how it was in your house too you know um, but <clears throat> on that note I want to thank everybody for everything you do for my channel I want to thank you for all the likes and the shares and for everybody subscribing to my channel I would encourage that everybody out there please you know leave a comment hit the like button hit the share button share it with all your friends and family and hit that subscribe button click the little bell for the notifications the next time I do a video and until then, catch you on the flip side.